What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to cook this ping pong ball or how to turn this ping pong ball into a egg that's right here in this pan. So if you want to learn how to do this trick, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Oh, and also this trick is inspired by Zach King because he does a lot of cool stuff like back in 2013 on Vine. So this is inspired obviously by that trick. That's a pretty cool trick, right? So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that, obviously, in Vegas Pro 17, right after the intro. All right, guys, so now we are in Vegas Pro 17. You want to basically do a couple steps. So the first one is record yourself while you're throwing that ping pong ball. You want to also place an egg where the ball landed. Now, this is just me putting in the egg in the pan itself. So then you want to also just make sure that it is nice and centered, as you can see. And then what you want to do is you want to pretend that you just reacted to the ball switching into an egg, as you can see right now, like looking a little bit like what happened. Then what we need to do is we're going to first of all go up a few frames and then when the ball lands for the first time on the pan like that, we're going to cut it right here. Then we're going to delete that part and then we're going to go ahead and actually move on to the second part. So this is what it looks like already. But it doesn't really look that realistic yet. As you can see, the ball is not nearing the pan already and the egg is also there. So we're going to just move up this one and we're going to move up a few frames. And then what we're going to do is create a little crossfade. So let's play it back. We don't have any sound. So then what we're going to do is we're going to press U on this audio track. Then what we need to do is stretch this one a little more. And we're going to align the second bounce sound effect with when it lands. As you can see. That looks really, really nice. So it's not really that difficult guys to create this effect because it's just a matter of cutting and obviously all the footage between like, you know, taking butter out of the fridge, take a, put a little butter into the pan and making sure that the egg is like, you know, cooking and everything. You would also just want to cut that out and you want to, that's very important. You want to do this in one take because some people will have like their lightning mode on their camera on automatically, which means that if you move, for example, it's going to compensate the lighting and it's not going to look realistic because you want to set the lightning mode of your camera to manual so that the lighting will stay the same even though you have shut off the camera a few times or walked around it can also that's called the iso of the camera if you have that on auto it's going to compensate and it's not going to look the same so right now it's just a matter of going to the video effects tab scroll all the way down until you see the lut filter right here and for example, drag on the standard one onto the first video track to, you know, make it a little bit more realistic, add in a little bit more color correction. And this is the end result. So guys, that is how simple it is. And this is how you create this Zach King fine ping pong ball egg effect in Vegas Pro 17. So you want to make sure that your egg is like around the center of the pan and it doesn't really matter if the yolk is like breaking or not because it's just like a matter of how to turn a ping pong ball into the actual egg itself. So you just want to turn the stove on, just put a little bit of butter in it so it's not like sticky all the way. And then you just want to basically make sure to just gently move this egg across the center of the pan and then it's just a matter of cutting and that's how to do it obviously. Subscribe for more Vegas 17 tutorials and I'll see you guys obviously in my next video.